everyone, so today's video is going to be about my tattoos and my piercings. Now I filmed this video over a year ago and I found it recently on my computer and I don't know why but I just didn't do anything with it at the time and now it's completely outdated. I thought I would refilm and like do an updated version for me personally but completely new for you guys. So I don't know if any of you guys will know that I do have tattoos but I do um, and I have quite a few piercings as well um, and I just thought it would be nice to share that with you so I'll just get started. So first up I want to talk about tattoos and when I was younger, so I'm 27 now, but when I was younger I never thought I would be the kind of person to get a tattoo. I always very much stuck by the idea that I would need to have something super, super meaningful to in order to have it tattooed on my body permanently for the rest of my life. So I took it very seriously. And up until a year ago, I didn't really have anything that I felt strongly enough about to get tattooed on my body. And then things changed. And on my 26th birthday, I got my first tattoos. And so I'll start with the first tattoo I got, and that was an arrow. Now it's on the centre of my back at the top, on my spine pointing upwards, and I'll show you um, it in a more close up version because obviously I can't really show you now but the reason that I got this particular tattoo was that around 2014-2015 I was going through a really quite difficult time personally. I had quite a lot of like negativity in my life and I felt quite restricted, quite held back and I just felt really crappy and there was one quote that I reread and read and read and read and read again because it just gave me hope and an understanding within myself that it will be okay um, and like it represents that time for me and the fact that I could come through it and that quote was an arrow can only be shot by pulling it backwards so when life is dragging you back with difficulties it means it's going to launch you into something great so just focus and keep aiming. Now I know that might seem a little bit cheesy to some people but it really has such a strong meaning to me and just brings me back to a time that was really difficult that I've got through and I'm a much stronger person for it and so that tattoo represents that. And at the same time I also got another tattoo on my wrist which is my little jigsaw piece and my jigsaw piece represents a friendship group. Me and the girls in my friendship group each have one of these on different parts of our body and it just kind of symbolises our friendship really, that we're all kind of like joined together in, in some way and I really love it, it's just, it signifies some amazing ladies in my life that have been there for me for like some of the most difficult times in my life so far and yeah, I absolutely love this one. So basically, when I had these two tattoos done, it was on my 26th birthday, so last July. And then this year, I've done the same again and got another ta two tattoos. So the first tattoo I got was in Greece, and it is this little finger tattoo. And again, this is a tattoo that resembles friendship. And um, the actual symbol doesn't mean anything. Um, I just thought that it was pretty um, but the meaning behind it is that me and my friend Lindsay both have one each in the same place on the same hand. Um, we got this done in Greece when we were on holiday together in June, um, literally like the week before my birthday and it was kind of a spare of the moment type of thing and Lindsay and I haven't been friends for as long as some of the other friendships that her and I both have but she's just so important to me and has become such a close friend in such a short space of time and you know when you meet somebody and they just understand you and they just get you and you feel like you could trust them with your life and that's exactly how I feel about Lindsay and so I didn't have any qualms about getting this tattoo with her I just thought I really like it I think it's really pretty really dainty um, and we both said that if we ever fell out, I was like, I'll get mine removed. And Lindsay was like, well, I'll chop my finger off. So she's definitely the more dramatic one out of the two of us. But yeah, that's that one. And then my final tattoo is a fox and that is on my ribs. And I literally got that done the day before my 27th birthday. And my fox represents wonderful you. So in November 2015, or was it October? I can't remember. Jamie redesigned my blog for me. He did all of the branding for Wonderful You and redesigned my website and the fox is the logo that was kind of created off the back of that and I absolutely love it. Foxes are my favourite animal 
and so they've always been incorporated into my blog in one way or another in terms of like a, a feature part of the design but when Jamie did the redesign we included it like far more heavily and I absolutely love him he's like he's like a geometric fox and it's just like a little fox head and he's just so cute and basically yeah I wanted to get it because I absolutely love my blog and my YouTube channel and everything else that comes with it and I love what I do and the rebrand of my website was such a huge thing for me and I absolutely love it I love that Jamie's been able to create something that literally is me like it just shows my personality so well and I'm so proud of my like of wonderful you and I really love the idea of having something on me as a permanent reminder that like I've done this like for myself and I've created a business for myself and I'm so passionate about it I'm so happy that I get to do it and yeah I love the little fox so much so having it as a permanent reminder on me is like a really nice thing um, so that is it in terms of how many tattoos I have and so I've gone from in the space of a year having no tattoos to having four which is quite excessive I think people say once you like with tattoos once you pop you can't stop you do get a little bit of a bug but I think more than anything actually it just kind of like releases ideas inside you for things that maybe you hadn't really thought about before with regards to what you would like when it comes to tattoos um, like and so I wanted to talk to you guys about pain and the fear of getting tattoos because I was absolutely petrified when I went in a year ago and got my arrow and my jigsaw piece, I literally was nearly sick. Jamie and my best friend Charlie came with me and they were bear witness to the fact that I was such a wimp. Not when necessarily when I was getting it done, but literally before I, I could have fainted, I could have thrown up, I felt dreadful, I was so nervous. And so I'll go through them one by one in terms of how they feel. So on my back, I, I said to do that one first because I expected it to be the worst in terms of pain. It was the biggest one and it needed a little bit of shading and it was on my spine so I just kind of assumed that it would be painful and I literally can't tell you it didn't hurt at all and I have a really really low pain threshold I'm a massive wimp um, as my nerves kind of beforehand would demonstrate I am not good with pain at all yes the arrow didn't hurt at all all I can explain it as is like an irritating feeling it just felt like I wanted to like bat the tattoo artist away, like be like, get off. It was just irritating. Um, but it was done so quickly that you didn't really have time to think about it hurting or anything. And also the adrenaline that you feel is so great that it kind of masks over the pain a little bit, I think. Um, but that definitely, it didn't hurt even a little bit. I will be brutally honest with you. Second up was this one. And this really, it hurt a lot. I'm glad that I didn't get this one done first because if I had, I'm not sure I could have done it, this one in the same sitting. It's such a tender piece of skin. It's so thin. And this was literally like, it only took about five minutes to do this. It wasn't long at all, but it, it did really hurt. I struggled through that one. It's this one, like, I can't explain the pain. It stung. It was like lots of little pinpricks is all I can say but imagine lots of little pinpricks here like that's quite painful so yeah that that hurt quite a bit next up was this one and Lindsay and I went together and Lindsay has quite a few tattoos and she isn't nervous about them really and um, she deals with it quite well I lost my shit like I seriously lost my shit I mean it's the tiniest little piddly thing but I was so nervous we were in Greece the guy, the tattoo artist was like not friendly at all. He was like, shut up, do you want it? And I was like, oh yes. Like I just felt really on edge and not good. I think people say that your fingers are quite painful because there's like constant blood flow going through them. And obviously the skin again, like the wrist is very thin and it did hurt, but it was bearable because it was over so quickly. But I don't know if I could ever get anything more detailed than that on my fingers, because it was it was quite painful. And then the last one was my little fox, Francois, on my ribs. And before I got it done, I was contemplating whereabouts to get my fox on my body. Um, I thought about my ankle, I thought about the back of my elbow, and neither of them kind of felt right in terms of positioning. And then I thought, oh, maybe like my ribs and so I had heard that 
getting it done on your ribs can be quite painful and so I sent a tweet out I was like on a scale of one to ten how much is this gonna hurt me if I get it done on my ribs and everybody pretty much replied saying 15 like 15 out of 10 it's gonna really hurt and I was like oh oh no like I'd kind of made up in my head that that's where I wanted to have it and so I really really worked myself up for it to be incredibly painful now if you like right now just prod yourself in the side of the ribs it, it makes you like jolt like it's not a comfortable feeling and so it is very delicate there um, but one thing I would say is that it's not as bad as people make out and there are different parts in your on your ribs that hurt more than others and um, so where I've got mine it's line work so it's not anywhere near as bad as shading and it is right in the center of my side whereas it does hurt a lot more if you're bringing tattoos around your front and like a bit further down like that hurts a lot more than than what I have so what I've got is very specific and obvious, obviously everybody's going to be very different when it comes to pain and this is completely subjective and it's just how I felt it was the most painful out of all of the ones that I've had done but it really it really was an unbearable pain like at no point did I have to say stop I think it took 15 minutes which is again the longest it's taken for me to have any of my tattoos done but the adrenaline you do feel really does carry you through I promise you that if you don't have any tattoos already one thing I would say the recovery afterwards that it was a lot more difficult it's on your side so it's quite difficult to sleep in terms of you can't really sleep on it so if you sleep on that side you have to sleep on the other side and it it ached and it hurt and I felt a little bit sick and queasy after I'd had it done so I had like a bottle of coke and a big breakfast like as soon as I'd finished and had chocolate whilst I was there um, and a bottle of water and um, whilst I was getting it done because like I didn't want my blood sugar levels to drop or anything but I didn't feel great after I'd had that one done and I wasn't sick and I didn't faint I just didn't feel great and the pain was like yeah the recovery pain was greater than actually getting it done so it just ached a little bit and felt very tender and I had my three of my tattoos obviously this one was done in Greece and the other three that I've had done have all been at the same place by the same guy and that's at Black Market Tattoos in Leicester by Alex Candela and what I would say is if you're thinking about getting a tattoo it's really good to go on recommendations because you know that they've done a good job you will have seen their work in the flesh by people that are recommending them to you and it's you kind of automatically feel more relaxed because you feel like you can trust the person to do a good job because obviously it's permanently on your body um, and Alex is absolutely amazing he is so kind which is exactly what I need when I'm in that kind of situation somebody to not make me feel stupid but to just distract me and make me feel at ease and he definitely does that because he could see how scared I was the first time I did it and the time that I got my my fox as well he he um put the gun on my body without any ink in it so I could feel the sensation before he actually permanently did anything which I think definitely ask your tattoo your artist to do before you have a tattoo done if you're nervous because you can feel the sensation before anything's permanently there so if you're like actually no way I can't get that done it's way too painful you don't have to which is great um, so Alex did that for me which was really nice and I was like oh okay it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be go ahead and then he did them for me and Jamie recommended him to me Jamie has a I think all of his tattoos have been done by Alex, but he has three tattoos, but the main tattoo that I was like, I have to have it done by Alex was his his sleeve that he has, like he has half a sleeve here, and it is incredible. It's the artwork from Michael Jackson's Dangerous album, but the colors and the detail are like nothing I've ever seen. Like people always ask him like, have you literally just had that done? Because it is so pigmented, so vibrant, so beautiful. The colors are so bright. And it just looks incredible, like it literally pops from his arm. It's really impressive. And I will go back to Alex time and time again because he's absolutely amazing and really fairly priced as well, but is very, very busy. So you do have to book in like as soon as you can if you decide that you want to use him. So that's it in terms of my tattoos and piercings. I have only piercings on my ears, but I have 10. So, which is pretty excessive I know I think like before I wanted to get tattoos I kind of took out any like body modification that I wanted to do on my ears 
I'll show you kind of like close-ups of all of these as well, but I have like the top. So I have one, two, three, hold on, one, two, three, four, five going around here. And then I have one, two, three, four there, and then fifth one in my tragus. So in terms of order of what I got them, I got the bottom ones done um, and my second ones done at the same time. Um, my parents, when I was younger, wouldn't let me have my ears pierced. So when I was old enough to do it myself, I went straight in and got both of them done at the same time. And then I got my top bit done. And then I got my tragus and these two done. So I had like the whole ear done there and then just my tragus and two there. And then I got the two other ones done up here. I am the same with tattoos as I am with piercings. I absolutely crapped myself before all of them. And ear piercings is definitely a more painful experience, I think personally, than getting a tattoo. The bottom two didn't hurt at all. Although I do have an extra piercing that has now closed up because when I got my second holes done initially, I jumped like an idiot. And so the gun went down and it's like pierced the bottom of my earlobe. So I had to wait for that to close up and then get the second hole done again, which is infuriating. Um, but yeah, if you can try and not jump, then that would be good when you have your ears pierced. The top one didn't hurt at all. It's really tough skin, so I expected it to be more painful, um, but I barely felt it. The other two, unlike, are the same on the other two sides. They're in the same position. Um, it's more tougher skin, but it also feels more fleshy there as well. And so that hurt a little bit more than any of the others that I've had done. And then the tragus hurt but it hurt more afterwards than it did getting it done. Um, I'd say the tragus skin is most similar to this one. So they used guns on all of them, apart from my tragus. So everything else, I believe, was just a gun. And then my tragus was the only one that they, they did with a needle. Um, and I haven't taken out the piercing that they put in there since I've had it done, which was about 10 years ago, mainly because I like having a ring and wouldn't want a bar in there. But yeah, that, that didn't hurt. I didn't feel like when they put the needle through that I could actually feel anything apart from you hear quite a loud pop. Like it literally is like, like as it pops through the skin, which is kind of gross. And then once that's gone through and they put the thing is, that's when it kind of like stings a little bit and it starts to burn. Yeah, I struggled more with the recovery of that one because it hurt for quite a long time. And that one actually got a little bit infected. It got a lump over the top of it, but I literally just kept using TCP and like antiseptic creams to help keep it in there. I didn't take it out, which a lot of people do. And obviously if it is getting really bad, then you should take it out and you shouldn't leave it in. But I, you kind of know your own body, don't you? And I just felt like mine could fight the infection and it did. And eventually the lump went away and it completely healed. Um, but like the rib tattoo, it's quite hard with this one sleeping because it's a little bit more painful and it's a little bit more prominent on your ear than the other ones. In terms of pain, they do vary, but there, there's not been anything that's been really horrific. And I would say that aftercare is really important and that going to a place where you're getting good quality um, jewelry that's gonna be going in your ears is really important. Again, I would go on recommendation, go to places where people have suggested you to go to that you know have had good experiences and, and then you automatically feel a little bit more relaxed. But yeah, that is everything, guys. That's all the tattoos and piercings that I have and the stories that go along with them. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I'd love to know what you think about it and what you think about my tattoos. Be nice. <laughs> Obviously, it's a very personable, subjective thing and what one person likes, not everybody will. But I am really happy with all of my piercings and my tattoos and... I thought it would just be a nice video to share with you guys. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really love it if you could. And do give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.